Hello, and welcome to SCG. Today, we will introduce you essential building materials that first come to everyone's mind when they think about building or renovating the house. That's right, I'm talking about the roof, a very important part of the house. Not only does the roof protect you from sunlight and rain, it also helps ventilate your home, giving a more comfortable atmosphere. Moreover, the roof enhances the appearance of the house, reflecting the owner's identity and taste. From now on, we will get to know the roof, which is perfect in terms of functional and aesthetic design, the SCG Concrete Roof. Concrete roof is a very popular roof because of its attractive appearance and most importantly, its remarkable durability. From the continuous improvement and world-class quality of our concrete roof, which has been accepted by homeowners and construction experts in every ASEAN country, SCG has long been the established leader of the roof tile innovation. SCG Concrete Roof comes with curved tiles that have long been popular and flat tiles, which have modern inspired design perfecting the minimalist character. Both tiles are suitable for different housing styles, but one thing these tiles have in common is that they are designed to raise the roofing system standard and provide high utility to homeowners. Now, let's see what SCG Concrete Roof has to offer. SCG Concrete Roof, a perfect concrete roof combines the right balance between the credibility of science and the aesthetic of art. Strong and durable, SCG Concrete Roof are made of elephant or SCG cement, which has been originated and improved by SCG for more than a century. The elephant or SCG cement is widely recognized by many countries as the best cement for structure. The cement is specifically formulated to endure the tropical weather of ASEAN countries through the special technological production methods with high-pressure machinery, which is approved by the ISO 9002 quality system. Eye-catching, colorful, and long-lasting with special color coding techniques which smoothly merges paint with towels. Waterproof guarantee because the roof comes with the leakage protection unit along with the ridge line and tongue in roof tiles to prevent rainwater. What a high quality roof. Now let's move on to the most important part, the installation. Today, we will go into details about the installation of the SCG Concrete Roof Prestige Collection. The main steps of installing SCG Prestige Collection are 1. The roof structure inspection. 2. The battery installation. 3. SCG Prestige Tiles installation. 4. SCG Angle Verges, Ridges, and Hips installation. And 5. The Finishing. Tools and accessories needed for the installation are 1. SCG Prestige Tiles. 2. SCG Roof Accessories. 3. SCG hips and ridges 4. Installation tools and 5. Protective equipment SCG Concrete Roof Prestige Collection comes with various colors. Here are further details. The Prestige Tile of SCG Concrete Roof is 33cm in width and 42cm in length and weighs 5.2 kilograms per piece. The required quantity is 10 to 11 pieces per square meter. The roof pitch for Prestige should be 25 to 40 degrees. There are two color series of Prestige. Horizon series, earth tone colors, and Zenith series, yellow gold colors. For standardized roof installation, safety purpose, and the most effective heat and leakage preventions, you should install these SCG roof accessories. 1. Heat Reflective Insulation Install the heat reflective insulation on batten to reflect up to 95% of radiation from the sun. 2. Eaves Filter Unit The eaves filter unit is used to protect small animals from getting in through eaves tile. 3. Batten Screw 
The strong 13mm No. 10 batten screw is made of galvanized steel to fix batten to rafter. 4. Tile Screw The tile screw is 2.5 inches long and self-drilling. It is used to fix tiles to batten. 5. Dry Tech System The Dry Tech System consists of leakage protection unit, supporting C line, supporting unit, batten screw, and 2.5 inches self drilling tile screw. 6. Galvanized steel batten. Use batten screw to fix galvanized steel batten to rafter. 7. Valley trough. It is used to prevent water leakage under the roof. There are stainless and galvanized types of valley trough. 8. Flashing is made from synthesized plastic used for covering leak risk areas. 9. Cut roof tile clip is used to fix tiles around the joint between full tiles and cut tiles along the gutter and hip rafter. It is designed to secure the cut roof tiles. Moreover, SCG has a variety of hips and ridges perfect for all roof types. Hips and ridges improve roof appearances and prevent leakages. The set features Angle Ridge Angle Hip Angle Verge Angle Hip End Angle Verge End and Angle Ridge End For safety reasons, the following protective equipments are required during the installation process. A safety helmet Safety goggles Earplugs A mask Gloves Safety harness and sensible footwear if you are ready, let's move on to the roof installation process. Preparing roof structure for tiling. 1. Check the right angle of roof at the ridge to verge joint and the eaves to verge joint. The suitable angle is 90 degrees. 2. Make sure that the top of each rafter is leveled with just a 0.3 cm inaccuracy to protect the roof from leakage. 3. The minimum roof pitch must not be less than 25 degrees. 4. The top of the outer fascia board must be raised 2.5 cm higher than the top of batten and keep the distance from the fascia board to the batten at 32.5 cm for tiles installation in order to prevent tiles from rising or falling. 5. The top of outer barge board and the top of batten must be equally high. If the top of outer barge board is higher, the angle verge will raise and detach from the tile. Install 1 by 2 inch roof brackets along gable end to support verges. Make sure that the top of roof brackets is 0.5 cm lower than the top of the outer barge board. 6. At the tile side to joining wall, Install a hidden gutter using galvanized sheets number 28 with 8 cm bottom width and 3 cm depth and cover the tile with motor abutment. The motor abutment should be 15 cm wide and 7 cm long. Batten spacing 1. Batten spacing must start with the top and the bottom battens, then measure the length of the remaining space. 2. Fixing a first row of batten by keeping the distance from the outer edge of the outer fascia board to the top edge of the batten at 32.5 cm. 3. Fixing the pair of batterns at the ridge by keeping the gap between one another at 8 cm. 4. Then measure the length of the remaining space. The length in L meters should be equally divided into sections with a space of 31 to 33 centimeters each for remaining batterns. A space beyond the suggested scope will make the tiling too difficult or lead to leakage. Therefore, careful batten spacing is recommended. How to calculate batten spacing? Find the number of batten rows by dividing L meters with a space of 32 centimeters. Divide the given number of batten rows with L meters to find proper spacing. Batten installation tips. 
In case of installing battens on top of rafters, overlap battens at 5 cm, fixing them with two batten screws, one for each side. In case the installing batons between rafters overlap battens at 20 cm, fixing them with four batten screws, two for each side. Before the tile installation, heat reflective insulation should be installed in order to block out heat. The heat reflective insulation should be placed on top of battens. Place the heat reflective insulation from battens up to the ridge. Install the heat reflective insulation in U shape between batten spaces to prevent the tear. Overlap the side of heat reflective insulation at 15 cm and 20 cm for the ridge. Tile preparation. After installing battens and heat reflective insulation, the next process is tile installation. There are two things you need to know before installing the tiles. 1. Tiles piling at the site. Level and clean the piling area. Support a pile with a 1.5 by 3 inches plank. Each pile should be limited to 35 piles. Flip over the top tiles to prevent dust from covering tile surface. 2. Stacking tiles on the roof. Stack tiles on the third batten row between the top of ridges with six tiles per stack. The stacks must be placed every other two rows. Repeat the process until the tiles cover the whole roof. Tiles installation. 1. The first row of tiles must be laid on the fascia. Start from the far right side and leave an extra space of 2 cm from the edge of the outer barboard. A wider space can cause leakage at the verge end. 2. Complete first full row of tiles at eaves, always leaving the last tile on both sides of the row an extra 2 cm from the edge of the outer barge board. 3. Fix all tiles in the first row with batten, using two 2 inch self drilling tile screws for each tile. 4. Lay the next row of tiles alternatively in broken bond manner. Stretch a string between the ridge and the eaves at a span of every 10 tiles to ensure alignment. 5. Repeat the process to the ridge. Installation of angle hips for hip roof tips. 1. Place the end of the outermost pair of tiles as close to each other as possible at 45 degree angle. 2. Fasten the tile bits by drilling their adjoining sides and holding them together with number 8 galvanized wire or screws. 3. Installation 1. Before the installation of verge, check the level of additional barge board top, which must be lower than the level of outer barge board top for 0.5 cm, and the tile at the end of gable must overhang the outer barge board for 2 cm. 2. Nail a screw to support the verge end, leaving an extra 1.5 cm of the screw from the additional barge board to ensure that the verges are well aligned. 3. Begin with the verge end. Place it exactly on top of the outermost tile in the first row, with its top end touching the outermost tile in the second row. Fix the verge end with two 2.5-inch number 8 screws. The screws should not be fixed too firmly or the verges will break. 4. Repeat the process to the ridge. Installation of angle ridges and angle hips. 1. Make sure that the pair of top batons at the ridge are 8 cm apart. 2. Place angle ridges on tiles with a space of 1 meter to keep them aligned with the ridge. Insert supporting C-line under angle ridges and lift it up to touch the inner side of the ridges. Measure the height from the top of batten to the supporting C-line to determine the height of supporting units. Three. Loosen batten screws and insert supporting units under the top battens. Fix the battens and supporting units with rafter 
using matching screws and leaving a space of no more than one meter between the supporting units. Four, use four batten screws to fix each supporting unit with the supporting C-line. The supporting C-line must be leveled and placed along the middle line of the roof ridge. Five, place one ridge tile on the ridge to determine the area for a leakage protection unit, which must not overlap the edge of angle ridges and has to cover about eight centimeters of the top tiles. Mark a line on both sides of ridges for leakage protection unit installation. 6. Before installing the leakage protection unit, make sure that the marked area is clean and free of dust, oil stains, or moisture. Then, remove plastic cover and neatly press the leakage protection unit onto the tiles and angle ridges. Caution! that a wrongly placed leakage protection unit cannot be reused after it is removed. 7. Connect the leakage protection unit, leaving about 5 cm overlap, and press to ensure secure fit. 8. Install the prestige angle ridge. Begin with the angle ridge end by securely fixing it to the supporting C-line with two 2.5-inch self-drilling tile screws. The screws should not be fixed too firmly or the verges will break. 9. Place the right angle ridge along the ridge to estimate the coverage length. Stretch a cord string from one end of the angle ridge to another end to ensure alignment of the angle ridge. Attach the angle ridge to the supporting C-line with two 2.5-inch self-drilling tile screws. 10. For ridge roof, securely fix angle ridge and to the supporting C-line with two 2.5-inch self-drilling tile screws. The screws should not be fixed too firmly or the verges will break. For hip roof, cover ridge apex joint with a piece of flashing. Shape angle hip and angle ridge with concrete cutting blade. Seal joints with silicone and paint them. Install the angle ridge at the two-way apex. Place the angle ridge at the middle of the ridge. For hip roof, Install the angle hip at three-way apex around the ridge apex joint. Installation for valley tops and cutting valley tiles. 1. The proper size of a valley trough is 12 cm wide and 3 cm deep, with each of both wings 12 cm wide. Both edges of the two wings are folded inwards. This size of trough applies to a valley no longer than 6 meters or one below a catchment area no greater than 36 square meters. 2. Before installation, valley lining should be made at the interval of 14 centimeters. Fasten two battens with each of them 7 centimeters away from the valley center line. 3. Valley troughs can be joined by leaving one overlap another for at least 20 centimeters and fix with two batten screws at each side. 4. At the head of valley rafter, in case two troughs meet at 45 degrees, cut their ends diagonally. Place both ends of the troughs as close to each other as possible, covering the joint with valley flashing fold. 5. In case of the one-way valley, fold the valley trough Head up to the height of 2.5 cm and bend the trough wad against the roof ridge. 6. Cut the tile along the valley with an electric grinder, leaving about 3 cm gap between the tiles along the valley's central dividing line. Caution that the electric grinder may cut through the trough and cause leakage. Seven. Hammer and take out the nip of batten lay on the valley trough wings. Drill the tile bit and fix it with galvanized wire number 18. 8. For the valley trough at eaves, fit the angle to the edge of eaves tile. At the valley trough end of the roof area, allow the end of the valley trough to cover half of the tile on the lower portion and flat the trough end down to the under tile to avoid slight opening. Finishing. After installing tiles, ridges and hips, 
and valley troughs. Paint the cutting edge of tiles, ridges, and hips accordingly. Do not let the paint stain tile surface. And that's the SCG Prestige Collection installation. We hope you have gained more useful information about our products. Today, SCG Concrete Roof is the roofing system that has been developed continuously to get rid of the old roofing problems. With innovative building materials in world-class standard, SCG is ready to be a part of creating better quality of living for ASEAN people. If you need further information, feel free to contact us or visit worldwideweb.scgbuildingmaterials.com. We are more than pleased to be at your service. I have to go for now. See you next time. Goodbye.